Hello and welcome to the video. Before we get started, if you'd like to provide input on future content and get our weekly newsletter, click on our survey. Uh, the link will be below. We also have uh, a report on Ethereum 2, along with a bonus report on why you should learn Solidity now. Again, the link will be below. Now on to the video and thank you. Okay, so we've talked, when talking about Render, we talked about that they're going to be working with Metaplex and Solana. So I thought um, it'd be a good idea to go through um, Metaplex a little bit because it's a, quite a um, system for doing NFTs. And there's also some development here and we'll talk about that. Um, but for today, what I want to talk about is give you an overview and go through how their end-to-end -end auction works. So what it is, is it's not one contract. It's like a, con they, they call it a contract ecosystem. So they have four main contracts that interact. Um, and the Metaplex contract, as they're saying here, knows about the other three um, and they don't interact with each other. So it's like a, a Metaplex contract and these, I guess you can call them subcontracts. So, uh, let's see, did I miss this? Yes. Um, I'm going to go back up here and talk about some of their terminology. I think we all know what non-fungible tokens are. Um, generally, it's the ERC-721 standard. Uh, Master Edition, that's an NFT that um, basically allows you, it, it's like you make a painting or a photograph or something that you're allowed to make prints of. So a print is a copy. Um, a normal NFT has no rights to print. And you got royalties, so you can... It has a way of splitting the royalties. Uh, so if you have multiple artists collaborating, they can all get their fair share. Um, and you configure it and it automatically goes where it's supposed to or to whom it's supposed to. Uh, now the storefronts, we're going to get into it. Um, but it's, yeah, they, they compare it to Shopify or WordPress. You can set up your own thing. And this is where you buy the NFTs. So it's almost like um, if, if you're familiar with some of the cost creation software or the business software, it's kind of like um, for NFTs, kind of like a Quattra. Um, they, call it, they compare it to Shopify or WordPress. I think of Quattra. Um, I think of Kajabi, um, things of that nature, where you can set your own thing up. Um, and, um, there are, there are plenty of them that allow you to sell courses, set up your own website to sell courses using their technology. So you don't have to do it all from scratch. And that's kind of what storefronts are. So, uh, let's see, let's talk about token. So the token, um, metadata concept is that it um, provides deck okay so you uh mint the token and the token has a name a symbol a uri um it's, it's a location to ui uri to an external json so basically let's say you have um i, I can see the what we call the intergalactic storage. That intergalactic storage where it's stored on, on the blockchain. And remember when we, we talked about that, we had these odd URLs or URIs to get to the data that we stored. Our creator is obvious who has the, um, this is the public key. Um, let's see. A uh, linked. Okay, so the primary flag 
describing whether a prime may sell to visible visible to NFT malls, sell of royalties, and this is the display an off chain metadata of SPL tokens. The on chain structure needs to contain the URI, and this goes into the so this is the image. So you may have different um, things in here, uh, animation URL, external URL, an image, a celacy, all the properties, and different files. So let's talk about what that is. So obviously description, an image of the asset. So if you're putting it on a store, you want to see what you're getting. So hence the image. Um, let's see. So this looks like a multimedia attachment of the asset. And um, external US, uh, a URL where you can view it separately, uh, different properties, properties files. You can, you are in type of the file as part of the asset um, and um, any kind of attributes. Let's look at this. Uh, so we have a name, we have a symbol, we have description, uh, an image, an animation, and where you can view it. And um, different, can you see it in different things? So we got attributes, trait, web, D yes, you have a web version, you can see it in mobile, extension, and a collection. So let's look at a collection. Do they talk about that? Oh. Um, and then the properties, an object where the objects who contain the URI and type of the file that is part of the asset. So this would be the where you can get the different uh, parts of the asset. So my guess is this is more of the, this is more of the um, uh, advertisement, if you will, picture of it, maybe a little animation talking about it and where you can find it. So that's the format that the system uses. Um, Let's see, you can put that in the properties file. So we see this here. Um, so attachment on a CDN, let's see. And collections, if it's part of a group and they have different things. So this is, this is the basis of how you're going to store the information. You're not going to store, obviously, as you can see here, the actual uh, file, the actual image or artwork or whatever it may be. You're not going to store that on the blockchain. Remember, blockchain storage is very, very expensive. So typically, you're going to store it off-chain, and then you're going to have a link and so on to get to it from what you pull up from the blockchain. So let's move on. Um, let's see the contracts. So we have token metadata is it the bedrock contract. Um, so it allows you to decorate your mint with a, so with that whole JSON thing, uh, one of a kind, a max supply of zero, unlimited, and max supply. Empty compared limited edition, unlimited. Um, you can have unlimited update authority. And this is the escrow, your token vault. And the auction contract represents an auction primitive, knows nothing about the NFT, the metadata. Or anything else, all cares about is it has a resource address, it has, and you can you can auction your MSP 
And so the Metaplex is sort of a controlling thing. It is um, the Nexus. So it's for all the other, it talks to all the other three contracts, your auction contract, your token uh, escrow here, and your description of the actual thing, which is your token metadata. And um, so let's look at this. Okay, so now we're going to go over the the whole process, uh, kind of a a uh, overview. So the first thing, you, it's seven steps. You pay for the upload. You create a token mint, and you may create a token associated account. That's only if you're going to need it in the certain circumstances. You're going to create a token metadata account. Upload the files, mint one token, and create your master edition. So this is paying for the token for the um, upload. So you're going to transfer money to the. They use uh, what they call Airweave or to uh, yeah Airweave. Then you're going to create your token mint. So this is. Um, a container that can make tokens, you're going to make one. There's going to be only supply of one. So we do. So at this point, um, we let's see. We um, create an account owned by the system firm. We have a token account. We create our token mint. Again, this is all done on Solana. Um, so now we have our token mint. And now we, um, again, we only need a token associated account if we are, it says, if we are going to uh, need the token later on. So let's see. So this is, we have our, this is where we're going to create a token. Uh, let's see, go through. This allows us to store additional information. So we have our data, what we talked about earlier. We have a public key. And da the data, I'm, I'm thinking this is the data like we sent the message in Oslan, or example. The metadata program derived account. Um, so we create an account with a PDA, transfer. This is where you're bringing in um, transfer land ports to the Metaplex made it mint to store data, allocate space, assign ownership. So this is where you're starting to actually interact with um, Metaplex's program. And now they show you the whole process. So you send spend the money to to what to the uh, data holder, you create your token mint, you may create a token account, and then you send all your account data to the Metaplex program. Now you finally upload the file. So you use the uploader and again use Metaplex. And um, they have a, a, a web based system and you get a transaction ID. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So you have the this above thing succeeds. You will have a transaction ID, and now you can upload it. You're going to um, you use the mint two. So you mint one token, and you send it to the program address. The mint address, the destination address, your public key, and an amount. So now we're going to, at this point, we're going to create our master edition. So again, Metaplex comes in here. It We have our account. We transfer uh, a coin to land purchase to the mint, mint, mint master edition program address. 
store the data, allocate space, assign ownership, and transfer the Mint authority of the Mint to the Mint Master uh, Edition program. So, so a lot of this again is still using Solana stuff. And then you mint one token, send it to the, the program address, create your master edition. This is done with the Metaplex. And um, then you now have your master edition. At this point, you're going to create the auction. You have to um, create a, the vault. Remember, the vault is going to be like your escrow account. You then create the auction, initialize it, um, give the authority to the auction manager, and validate. Start the auction. People can bid. When it's done, the winning bidder can redeem, and um, then it hand, handles all the bidding. So you're basically, what Metaplex is doing, it has its own programs that we went over, and then what it is doing is it's using those along with the built-in um, programs that are already on Solana. So they're kind of doing their thing on top of what Solana already provides. So that's the basic process of uh, overview of how the auction system works. Rather an involved pro process, it's probably will seem a lot less involved once you actually do it. Um, but basically, you have to pay to set this all up. You create um your little mint to mint tokens so you can make one token again this is what's built into solana um so this is only necessary when if you don't need to hold it after the first master edition oh um and after the prints on the let's see when you're manually uploading, but you are going to have your account. And the, um, again, this looks like it's done using built in um, Solana programs. Uh, and, it, and, um, then you are, then you start to use the actual Metaplex thing to, um, to create, really uh, get your account set up and so on. And pretty much do, I remember your, that big, where they talk about the contracts, um, token metadata is, what you interact with to do everything. And the Metaplex is, and these, this is what we, uh, what controls everything, but we are, if you notice, are interacting with token metadata, because if you look at it here, this is, let me get down here, Metaplex token metadata. This is all of the Metaplex stuff that we're, that we are interacting with. And this takes care of um, everything. And let's look at PDA because they kept talking about this thing called PDA. And uh, let's see where they tell you where you can talk about that, where they talk about that. Uh, transfer. Here we go. Read more. Okay. Metadata, ah, program derived address. So, 
the program itself has address and, and um, the uninitialized address of the account will be stored at. And um, that, I think we saw that with our Solana example. So you can see it's a whole, once you create, you create your master edition and then you send it to the program account and um, then it, you can create your master edition. And then again, this whole auction is controlled by the Metaplex uh, program. So we're gonna go in and do a deep dive. This is just kind of an overview of how the process works. And what I'd like to do is make something, doesn't can be anything, and uh, go through this process and uh, just see how it works and see what I have to do to get it actually, actually create a little auction for whatever exit is that I create. And um, let's see. So it's gonna get into, see, I suspect the <clears throat> the deep dive is going to make. Hopefully, we'll go into actual steps A, B, C, and D, where you know, click here, click there, um, and we'll also get into the stores and so on. So we do have creating a store and creating a candy machine. So we're going to get into that in future videos. Hopefully, this uh, has made sense. Uh, looks like it's a whole involved process using the in the in uh, in the inborn or existing uh, Solana uh, programs that are on the network and combining that with the programs that are are written by or there from Metaplex to create tokens, and essentially metaphorically do what an artist would do in physical world, right? So they, they, they can either make a painting, and I'm going to sell this one painting. They can make a painting, and then they can make a limited number of prints, or they can make a painting, and they can say, we're just going to, they're not going to be, you know, whoever wants to buy them. So that would be more like a poster, I suppose. Whereas, um, you know, a single print would be like a, you know, original or whatever. And a limited, and the middle one where you have a master print and then you have a, a, a master print and then you have all the other print, a limited number of prints, that's more like a limited edition. So an artist makes something and they say, we're going to print a hundred of these and sign and number them. That's the analogy. So this will, this uses a, a I guess would you call a metaphor that is very familiar to artists, but it does it in the digital world. And it also takes in the um, stores, the, the concept of a store at some place where, where someone can actually go and purchase the product, much like what we've seen on anything, like I mentioned, uh, Katra, Kajabi, um, Gumroad, or any of those places where someone can, actually Gumroad, like, oh no, I think you can create, well, it doesn't matter. The point is it lets you create your own individual stores if you and um, uses the um, metaphors that artists are, are used to. So hopefully this has been interesting and um, and thank you for watching the video and I will speak to you next time.